Leader. KAMR Local 4 News at 10 in high definition starts now. Six suspects have been arrested after the Amarillo Police Department's Special Victims Unit and Proactive Criminal Enforcement Unit set up an undercover operation yesterday. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Maggie Glenn. According to APD, Special Victims Unit detectives posed as 15 and 16 year olds. The suspects initiated contact with an undercover officer through text messages and arranged to have sexual intercourse for money. That's tonight's top story. The suspects have been identified by APD as 29-year-old Jareth Fortenberry, 50-year-old Charles Johnson, Byron Laurie, age 44, Joshua Oliphant, age 31, Augustin Rosa, age 36, and 49-year-old Kirk Winningham. Police say when the suspects arrived at the agreed-upon location, they were arrested, interviewed, and booked into Randall County Jail for online solicitation of a minor. For more on APD's sting operation, you can head over to myhighplains.com. We have an update to the story surrounding Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh's accuser coming up, but first we'll check in with meteorologist Brittany Trumpy for a first look at your forecast. Hey Brittany. Hi Maggie. Right now we are seeing some absolutely gorgeous conditions throughout the region. We had a nice afternoon, a little on the cool side, but we had lots of sunshine. If we take a live look outside right now, you can see the city is all beautifully lit up. Here downtown we are already down to about 58 degrees. We are seeing mostly clear skies, so we are going to see some cool conditions overnight tonight. We also have some really light wind out of the southeast at about 8 miles per hour. Current te metro temperature things are much cooler here downtown. Temperatures are in the 60s out by Sansi and I-40 and by Tiscosa Road. For your day planner for tomorrow, we are expecting lots of sunshine once again, a little warmer than what we saw today. I'll have full details coming up in just a little bit, but for right now, I will send it back to you, Maggie. All right, Brittany, thank you. The woman accusing Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh of sexual assault is now expected to testify next week. We are your local election headquarters. Today, lawyers for Christine Blasey Ford told Senate Judiciary Thank Committee you. staff she uh, accepts the request to speak to the panel next week about the alleged incident. Right a specific now. date and time was not yet agreed to. Ford alleges Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her at a party when they were teens. Kavanaugh denies the Thank allegations you, and is expected to testify Sounds next week stop. about the claims. Members President Trump is standing behind Judge Brett Kavanaugh, the calling him, quote, one of the finest human beings Senator you will ever have the privilege of knowing or meeting. Senator Ted Cruz was in town tonight for a rally following his debate in Dallas last night with Representative Beto O'Rourke. One of the main topics last night at the debate in Dallas was over immigration, which both parties had vastly different opinions on. They went on to discuss the future of the Dreamers. The rally tonight was held at the Amarillo Botanical Gardens. The League of Women Voters held an event today to help those who have not yet registered to vote. They were at the United Supermarkets on 45th and River Road helping people in our area get registered. It began at 10 this morning and ran until 2 this afternoon. The deadline to register is October 9th. Election Day is November 6th. The, the idea is to get as many people thinking about getting registered to vote as possible, uh, is try to get people to the point where they, they want to participate. And this is the ground level participation of uh, getting, of voting, of registering and voting. This year's ballot will include contested races for the U.S. Senate, U.S. Representative for District 13, Texas Governor, Lieutenant Governor, and more. For more from your election, local election headquarters, you can head on over to myhighplains.com. The Susan G. Komen West Texas Amarillo Race for the Cure took over downtown this morning. That's in tonight's Heart of the High Plains. Runners from all over came together to raise awareness for breast cancer. Our very own Jackie Heason was the co-chair of the event. It started with a survivor breakfast at 7 this morning. The competitive 5K race began at 8, which was followed by another 5K and one-mile run and walk at 9.15. The Texas State Bison Music Festival, or Bison Fest, kicked off at Cap Rock Canyon State Park today. KMR Local Forest Kaylee Green joins us from the festival now. Kaylee. Maggie, we're here in Kitty Quay at the 8th Annual Bison Fest Music Festival, and it's a really great time in a population, a town with a population of 411. It's home to a really big music festival that's for a good cause, and I'm joined by Zach Wilkerson. He's an Amarillo native, and he's going to tell us a little bit about his experience playing at the festival. Zach, what can you tell us? Uh, this is our sixth year to play the festival, and we're always excited to come and support the Texas State Bison Herd Project, and as well to support the Capra Canyon State Park. It's, it's a beautiful place that we have here in the middle of the Texas Panhandle that's so dry and dusty and flat, and we have this amazing park. So we love coming to help out. And we're so thankful for you talking to us today. For now, I'm going to send it back to Maggie in the studio in Kitty Quay, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News.
Kaylee, thank you. The proceeds from the Bison Fest will go directly toward the restoration of the official bison herd of the state of Texas. The Don Harrington Discovery Center is officially home to a new exhibit starting today. We'll tell you all about rescue, which simulates what first responders experience next. And later, we'll check back in with Brittany and your forecast.